Yeah. Victor, which cruise line do you work for? Right now, I work for a big corporation called NCL, and I work for one of their subsidiaries, Oceania Cruises. And do you work just in one cruise ship, or you work in a different kind of No, cruise I work ship? for the company. I work for the company. They can move me from ship to ship as they need. Um, the last couple of years, I've been in one ship only, but they can move me anytime they want. I usually, work for the company, right? Uh, usually... Uh... Where uh, where is the the route of the ship that you you work? Uh, all, all, all over around, the world. All, all over, over the world. world. Mm -hmm. Have you come to Brazil yet? Now they got now. Oh yeah, yeah. Beautiful uh, Brazil. Santos, Santos or Santos uh, Salvador. Santos, Fortaleza, Belém, Rio de Janeiro, Santos. Uh, I guess in Paraná now. In Paraná State, yeah, where I stopped. Okay. Ilha Bela, Ilha Bela. Yeah, and I've been in the Bella, but not on a cruise. And I've been in Ivory Coast too. Ivory ah. Coast. Uh, how many? How many kids do you have, Victor? Just one. Three. Three. Yeah, but the other two, they are. Yeah, the other two, they are very. Uh, they grown up. One is yeah. almost forty. The other one is thirty something, thirty three. Portugal also is famous um, for uh, of the the. Olive oil produced in Portugal, right? That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. Actually, yesterday I was in a in a in a in a, in a group of friends. We used to have the best and the uh, most. Um, um, how should I say? I don't want to say cheap, 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 but uh, affordable olive oil in Europe. And the Greeks they have affordable olive oil too, but in Portugal you had the Italian, very expensive Italian olive oil. The Slovenians and the Croatians they had, but very uh, expensive because it was small um, production. And Portugal had, you know, very reasonable prices for olive oil. We used to buy a bottle of olive oil, uh, Gallo. I'm sure you know in Brazil. Yeah, Gallo. Uh, yeah, Gallo. Gallo. Yes, so I expensive like, here. I like. Well, but now in here, a bottle of Gallo, it cost. Uh, I I checked yesterday. I was talking to my friends because. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it happened in Brazil and uh, Ivory Coast and uh, in Belgium and Austria, if you guys do that. But in Portugal, when you go to a supermarket, we have uh, the alcohol, meaning like whiskey and the expensive uh, uh, grappa and whatever is more than, I would say, 15 euro, 20 euro as an alarm on the bottle, right? Mm -hmm. So. Now the olive oil in Portugal have the alarm on the board. No, wow. <laughs> no, no joking. No joke. We, wow. we were like amazed. They are closed, but you know they, they close them down in a in the cabinet, or they have the alarm on it because a, a, a bottle of olive oil, seven and uh, seven fifty milliliters, it costs to twelve thirteen euro. Here in my city, the 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 bottle of uh, yeah, yeah, olive yeah. olive. Olive oil, it costs um, 50 reais, 500 milliliters. Yes, 50, 50 reais. Yeah. I, I am in Sao Paulo and it's the cost of an as, uh, oil. It's very expensive. Yeah, really expensive. Crazy, crazy. Uh, all the countries that you visited, uh, it was just on the coast or how many countries did you visit inside, like not coast, coast countries, you know, like in uh, Africa? In Africa, uh, none. I did some uh, uh, trips, uh, exploring some areas close to the ports, but uh, I, I never been to in Africa on a, on my own on vacation or something like that. How about an, another country in in another continent? For example, uh, there there is no port. You know, it's not a oh, coast. I've, uh, I've been on vacation, for example, in your country. I've been in the United States and. In Croatia, Montenegro, Spain, a few in Japan. Let's uh, share. Let's share your your city, Lisbon. Uh, what is the the main attractions to go to visit in Lisbon? Well, depend who you are, where you what you come where you come from, and for what you come here. Right. Um, many people uh, come here for the food, for example. Now, uh, in the last. I would say 10 years, we have a lot of people coming here for party. A lot of younger Europeans, they come here for a couple of days, three, four days. 
they come here for party, cheap drinks compared to their country, um, a very international uh, population. Uh, there is a, like a Copacabana here, sidewalk, a Copacabana lines here. It's, a little, it's little similar little to Copacabana, 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 Copacabana yes, yeah, yes, Copacabana yes. sidewalk. Yeah. Then we have, uh, of course, the you 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 showing some uh, beautiful uh, slides of Rousseau and uh, Marques de Pombal. Uh, our architecture and monuments in Lisbon um, are comparable to many other cities uh, in uh, in Europe, capital cities, and not only capital cities in Europe. They are famous for their monuments, their uh, palaces, uh, museums, uh, architecture, so forth. So we uh, have that as well. What is the uh, name of this? It's a kind of castle here or a fort? No, that is Torre de Belém. That is uh, the, the oh. old, like 400, 300 something years, 400 years uh, old. It was the old uh, custom house. So the ships going in the river, they would have to pay uh, a fee. Uh, that is uh, old traditional, uh, yeah, house. Uh, where the customs used to have a small boat, go out and uh, come back. Uh, so the the the, the ships, uh, cargo ships and passenger ships, uh, three four hundred years ago, two hundred years ago, they used to pay they they pay their duties in these house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now it become now it's not used for that that obviously. Now it's only a a, a monument. There's nothing there inside. Uh, they have some expositions once in a while, but there's nothing. Nothing works there. This yeah? this uh, this area here is like um um the the uh, where the 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 ship come to cargo That's port correct. here. That's correct. That's correct. The it's a bay. See, the, I the, like a, the a huge bay. A bay. A huge bay here. Yeah. Bay. yeah. But it's not uh, all, the ships only go until the line. You see the line over there is the bridge. Uh, the ships only can go really until the bridge, not mm -hmm. after the bridge. Ah, here. Ah, okay, here. No, Chill they here. pass. Not that bridge. The next one, the one up. No, no, to oh, the right. This exactly. So this one here. Bridge, the ships can be, yeah, but not mm -hmm. uh, above. Vasco that. da Gama bridge. That's correct. The above that the, is mm -hmm. uh, shallow waters. Oh, shallow waters. Mm -hmm. How about beaches? There are a lot of. Good beach to yeah, go. In boats, yeah, yeah, all over the place. What is the all most uh, famous beach? Uh, you have the, the, the north side of Lisbon, you have Carcavelos. And Carca... the, the south part, you have uh, uh, Costa da Caparica. And then in the south of Portugal, that's the most famous ones, is Algarve. Uh... This one. Yeah, Costa da Caparica, yeah. Lots of Brazilian people live there in that area. A lot, a lot, a lot. I would say fifty percent of the population is from Brazil. Uh, we, we Brazilian, we can see the difference between our Portuguese and the Portuguese from uh, and uh, other countries that were colonized by Portuguese um, settlers. But uh, there is this uh, huge difference. We, we, uh, it seems like we, we were set apart because our Portuguese is not uh similar as the the portuguese from the other countries the other countries we we have in 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 africa they speak almost the same language it's more uh similar to the portuguese original language okay it's like in, in united states that we have in canada similar okay uh mm -hmm. accent but we if you go to new zealand or australia or uh, the united kingdom the, there is difference of accent and there are some words here like uh, in portuguese here in brazil that we cannot say like for example Hapari we cannot say rapariga here because uh, it's a, a bad word, you know, uh, but in Portugal it's not, you know, in Portugal, rapariga is a, a girl, a all right? Word. It's a good a good word, but here in Brazil we cannot say, but there, there, there is some word that uh, it is said here in Brazil that you cannot say in Portugal, that is a bad word in Portugal, but is a good word here in Brazil. Os putos, que que os putos? Puto is the kids, the kids, the. Uh, to see, but in Brazil, in Brazil is offensive. It's a very bad no, word. The yeah. female, <laughs> the female, the female version of puto. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In general, in general, we don't say putos. No. We say putas. Is a very but offensive. That is a very <laughs> offensive word in Portugal. 
what uh, Adilson, uh, what, what you say about Portuguese in Africa, mainly in Africa, that they 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 sound closer to Portuguese. I think it's because we stayed uh, much longer there, mm -hmm. and um, the the school system it was based on Portuguese teachers. Uh, Portugal was sending teachers. They were bringing them to Portugal. Mm -hmm. um, they had full education in Portugal before they went back mm -hmm. to the, the, the colonies as a teachers. So the, the, not only the locals, but the Portuguese as well, they kept going back uh, for two more centuries than Brazil, right? And it was closer as well. Mm -hmm. I think that is, I'm not, a, I'm not studying that matter, but that's what it makes sense to me. It was the fact that our education system um, it was feeding the, the teachers uh, um, to Africa, to all that African countries. Still today, we have that program. Still today, we send in, I don't know, uh, dozens and dozens of Portuguese teachers to to African countries. Um, I think that's the main reason. Besides that, is because you, Brazil, uh, while we were there, you were far from the Portugal. And you had much more influence of the thousands and millions of people that were brought from different places and from your local uh, native uh, uh, population. And it became the beautiful language that you have, right? It's, yeah. it's a beautiful language. It's so nice. Victor, it was fun. Johannes, thank you so much also for being here, for sharing thank a you little for me. nice hat. We didn't even plan. And it was, it's actually in Brazil. So it was really nice and it's special for us. And for you guys, thank you for being here. And I see you next time. It's going to be next Tuesday. We are going to Germany. Okay. Thank you all. Okay. You thank you guys. Day. Have a great thank week. You guys. Have a great day. See you. Thank you bye so bye. much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.